Do you live in Western New York or Southern Ontario and have recently lost reception of the CBC Channel 5.1 out of Toronto? In this video, I'll tell you what happened and what steps you can take to get it back. Here's what's happened. Just a few days ago, WWHC started broadcasting on RF Channel 20 on the WGRZ Tower. RF Channel 20 happens to be the same RF channel that the CBC in Toronto uses. Over the past few days, the area has experienced substantial co-channel interference from the two stations being on the air on the same frequency. The addition of WWHC has caused many to suddenly lose all reception of the CBC. How could this be possible? Two stations in the same general area broadcasting on the same RF channel. Well, let me tell you something. It turns out WWHC originally wanted a 15 kilowatt effective radiated power, but the CBC in Toronto ended up intervening. As a side note, in Western New York, this is nothing new. WBNF and CHCH both broadcast in the same general area on RF channel 15. You can check out my video on co-channel interference from those two stations. Anyway, WWHC's 3 kilowatt effective radiated power that it's currently at is within 5% interference allowed with the Federal Communications Commission. So yes, it is legal and obviously possible. Now that you know what happened, here are some ways to resolve reception issues. First, make sure that your antenna is pointed towards the CN Tower. That will probably solve most of any problems. Second, make sure that you have a good antenna. If you were just barely receiving it before with a small indoor antenna, getting a better antenna mounted in an attic or outdoors would be the best option. Always make sure to aim the antenna directly at the CN Tower. For those of you that are technically savvy and that are radio geeks like me, buying a Televis Avent X would allow you to shift over one of the frequencies throughout your home or business so that you could get both stations at the same time. I am personally unable to get WWHC because where I'm located, the CBC is so strong, but for many of you, it would work great. Unfortunately, I don't see co-channel interference stopping anytime soon. The FCC incentive auction shrunk down the available space that broadcasters could use for TV. This has made a WWHC and a CBLT situation more possible. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps you with your reception problems. One last thing, CIII TV2 Bancroft, the analog station from Bancroft, Ontario, is still on the air. I'll be posting a video about that in the coming days.